let's look at the proof of cos squared theta plus sine squared theta equals to 1. Now we have a circle with the center at the origin and the equation of this circle is given by x squared plus y squared equals to r squared where r is the radius. Now we could pick any point on the circumference of this circle but for convenience we'll choose the positive quadrant that has positive x and positive y coordinates. So let's say we have a point on the circumference of the circle here, we'll label this as having coordinates x and y. And so from the center of the circle which is the origin we can now draw a right angled triangle. So this base length has a distance of x units and the perpendicular height of this triangle is y units. And we can draw on the hypotenuse which is the radius of this circle labeled as r. The angle formed between the positive x axis and the radius we can label as theta. We focus on the right angled triangle here, we can now set up two equations. So the first equation we're going to form is involving sine of this angle theta. So sine theta is equal to the opposite side of the hypotenuse, which in this case the opposite side is y and the hypotenuse here is opposite the right angle, which is r. And so making y the subject, if we multiply both sides by r, we end up with r sine theta, which equals to y. The second equation we can form is using cos, so cos of theta equals to the adjacent side of the hypotenuse, and so in this case the adjacent side is x and the hypotenuse is the same as before which is r. And so multiplying both sides by r we then get r cos theta which equals to x. Since we know that the equation of a circle centered at the origin is of the form x squared plus y squared equals r squared, we can now substitute r sine theta and r cos theta into this equation. And so doing that we end up with r cos theta all squared plus r sine theta all squared and then all of this equals to r squared. If we now expand the brackets out, r cos theta all squared is the same as r cos theta times r cos theta which becomes r squared cos squared theta and then likewise r sine theta all squared becomes r squared sine squared theta and then this all equals to r squared. And since the radius of a circle cannot equal to zero and therefore r squared is not equal to zero, we can now divide through by r squared and so we end up with cos squared theta plus sine squared theta which equals to 1. And this is the identity that we were trying to prove.